What's good, EA football fanatics? Are you tired of your offense being labeled as predictable and playing Jane? Do you feel like the defense knows who's getting the ball 90% of the time? It's time to change the game plan. Today, we're unveiling the top five spread option playbooks in EA College Football 25 that'll keep the defense guessing and your offense racking up yardage for days. Also, stick around to the end for a chance to win one of two copies of EA College Football 25 in our exclusive giveaway. Let's lock in. Before we dive into the rankings, let's clear something up. The term spread option is broad and covers a lot. It includes read options, triple options, and run pass options, otherwise known as RPOs. The spread option is a modern staple of football. It's a combo of the run and shoot and option offenses developed in the mid-1990s by Bill Snyder and Rich Rodriguez. The run and shoot includes the shotgun formation and quarterback rollouts, while the option involves the quarterback reads and option pitches. And it keeps evolving, getting more creative with tons of variations. By the end of this video, you'll know the perfect one for you. At number five, we have Georgia Tech. Long gone are the days of Paul Johnson's flex bone triple option. Head coach Brent Key and offensive coordinator Buster Faulkner have revolutionized the Yellow Jackets into an efficient spread option team. They rely heavily on zone reads, midlines, and beautiful play actions that freeze the defense. There's so much motion in this offense that it's hard to keep up with, making it difficult for the defense to align. They can come out in gun, pistol, four wide, and it's a lot, almost like multiple options. Georgia Tech's offense averaged 435 yards and 31 points per game last year. They ranked 20th nationally in rushing offense, 8th in yards per rush, and 9th in runs of 30 yards or more. Faulkner's diverse quarterback run game includes traditional zone reads, quarterback draws, and quarterback counters, consistently giving the Yellow Jackets a numbers advantage. Georgia Tech's playbook is a must if you're looking for innovation and versatility in your spread option attack. Moving to number four, we have the Cincinnati Bearcats under head coach Scott Satterfield. Satterfield favors a run-focused spread option attack, preferably with a dual-threat quarterback pulling the strings. In his first season at UC in 2023, despite having 11 new starters and 23 college transfers, the Bearcats finished fifth in the country in rushing and 33rd in total offense. Satterfield's teams have rushed for an average of 200 yards per game and to finish among the nation's top 30 rushing teams every season. To sell you on his offensive track record a little more, he's responsible for Malik Cunningham at Louisville, who passed for 7,800 career yards and 62 touchdowns. Cunningham also ranks second all-time at Louisville for rushing touchdowns by a quarterback, with 38 only behind Lamar Jackson. Oh yeah, he coached the kid by the name of Armonte Edwards at Appalachian State and led them to one of the biggest upsets in college football history, knocking off the Michigan Wolverines. If you haven't seen it, check it out on YouTube. His offense is known for its speed and balance, using multiple tight end sets or spreading out wide when needed. It also features some nice pistol and split backfield formations. If you want speed and balance in your spread option attack, look no further than Cincinnati's playbook. At number three, we have our first tie, starting with West Virginia. They recently transitioned from an air raid to a power spread littered with reads and RPOs. West Virginia's rushing attack averaged the power five best 228 yards per game in 2023, the most since the Pat White and Steve Slayton era. Quarterback Garrett Green is electric with the ball, with over 3,000 passing yards and 1,300 rushing yards and 43 total touchdowns in his career. In 2023, this offense ran the ball 63% of the time. In those games, the Mountaineers won and they averaged 252 yards on the ground. If you have a loaded backfield and want to dominate the game while controlling the clock the whole time, look no further than West Virginia. Tied at number three is UCF and Gus Malzahn. During his time at Auburn, Malzahn invented the hurry up no huddle offense and he's been running it ever since. It's 100% smash mouth football with a spread twist. The run scheme features a power slash zone approach with inside zones, powers, counters, and sweeps. Malzahn loves dual threat quarterbacks. Just look at Cam Newton, Nick Marshall, and John Reese Plumley. Both West Virginia and UCF have perfect spread option RPO systems if you want to rely on the legs of your quarterback and have a stable of running backs to rotate. The success of Malzahn's hurry up no huddle offense relies on precise execution and conditioning, as players must be able to maintain a high pace throughout the game. This goes hand in hand with the new turbo tempo in EA College Football 25. It also requires a smart and athletic quarterback who can make quick decisions and effectively read the defense. If you check those boxes, the UCF playbook might be the one for you. Number two on this list is personal to me, the Army Black Knights. The service academies are the best at running the option. They've been doing it for ages. Army was known for the flex bone and wing bone triple option. And if you played NCAA 14, 
you know how deadly it was. Misdirection, motion, dump passes, overloads, you name it. Now they've transformed into a spread option with condensed formations. Think of it as rolling out a tank with multiple weapons. It's like a single wing and sometimes a double wing shotgun. They can run through you or around you. This playbook will be a staple in my offense. Last year, they averaged 208 rushing yards per game. Coach Jeff Munkin says the military has evolved from trench warfare to modern warfare. And that's precisely what he calls it, modern warfare. It's full of power runs and zone reads with multiple linemen pulling and reach blocking, but it's still a triple option offense. The philosophy didn't change. The Army Black Knights playbook tells you what's coming. The question is, can you stop it? And finally, at number one, if you know ball, this is no surprise. The Liberty Flames under head coach Jamie Chadwell. Chadwell painted a Van Gogh with his complex option scheme, first putting it on the map at Coastal Carolina. Often referred to as the spread triple option, it combines elements of traditional triple option football with modern spread principles. The scheme is aggressive and downhill. The complex blocking assignments using dummy pulls, offensive tackles reaching cornerbacks, and wideouts cracking down on linebackers, and it's a work of art. They use Use efficient plays to set up explosive outside rushing and deep passing. In 2023, the Flames averaged 293 rushing yards per game, first overall in the country, led by Heisman hopeful quarterback Caden Salter. If you want an offense that combines old school grit with modern innovation, Liberty's playbook reigns supreme. Any one of these playbooks we've listed can give you an elite spread option offense, but you need a stable of workhorse running backs to get the job done. Be sure to check out my video on my five hidden gym running backs in EA College Football 25 that you should know. Also, if you throw in a solid dual threat quarterback, you'll be running circles around your competition in no time. Senpai gang, don't forget, if you want the chance to win a deluxe or standard edition of EA College Football 25, you need to smash the like button, subscribe for more content, and hit my bell for my notifications, and comment, notice me senpai or hi senpai and i will be sure to lock you in for the giveaway also comment below which playbook you're most excited about or what school should have made this list we shattered the sub goal of 800 and we're well on our way to 1000 let's get this video up to 10,000 views and 200 likes i couldn't do it without the support that you guys show and the more support you show to the channel i'm gonna give more back stay blessed until next time senpai out